Alright, hello everybody, Tyson here, and today I'm starting off the uh, how-to series, the weathering tips and tricks. So, today we're going to start off with panel lines. Now let me move off my current project. I'm currently working on uh, a Hot Wheels truck repaint. I just watched a couple weathering videos, so I'm in the mood to do some weathering. I've got all my paints here, um, some foam laid down, whoops, got some foam laid down, um, with a little piece of cardboard for paint, um, a hardened tip, a stiff hardened brush for mixing paint, and then a regular brush, uh, a cup of water here, which has already been used, and the locomotive, which I'm bringing down right now piece of track. So let me move that out of the way. So let's set the locomotive down. Oops, hopefully I'm not painting anything. I'll lay that down there. And we'll move our paint down here by my feet. Move those off the side. Get all the paint off and move everything real quick. Alright, so we're going to be using BNSF number 6871 here. We'll turn, we'll turn, uh, turn it a little bit. Hopefully everybody can see that. I'm going to be doing this at kind of an angle, so hopefully you can see this. Because I'm going to have to work uh, work with this angle. <clears throat> so we're doing panel lines today. Now you want to have a nice paintbrush that has a nice thin edge like that. See how thin of an edge that is? And some black paint, obviously. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take, take some black paint. Make sure it's shaken up. Put some down onto the cardboard. Not too much. Oops. Get a little too much there. I'm going to pull my sleeves up. That's why I don't get paint on my sleeves. And we're going to take our brush. Make sure it's all clean off. Make sure it's nice and kind of, kind of, a little damp, but not, not wet. I'm going to take just a little paint. If we get too much on there, it's easy to take some off. Just by dabbing it around. We're going to take our locomotive here, and I want to make sure that this is getting there. What we're going to do is I know this is going to look like crap. We're going to spread a little bit over the area of the panel line. Make sure to get into the panel line. And um, while we're making sure our brush is a little clean, because we might switch to a new color, we'll let that paint dry a little bit. Make sure our brush is nice and clean. We want that paint dry, paint to dry just a little bit. Then we're gonna take take our finger and just lightly wipe. get in there underneath the handrails maybe use a brush like this and you can see those panel lines are a lot more uh, accented so of course you can go over this very many times so I'm just going to go over this one more time here. Again, clean the brush. Clean it off. I like using my fingers to wipe off any excess paint that stroking it doesn't get. 
And again, let it dry for a second. Once it's dry, you can just take your finger, wipe it off. And then harder, harder, you might want to take handrails or take the shell off to do this, but I prefer to leave it on. It's just easier for me. I'm just going to take my finger and wipe, wipe away. I know it's going to look like crap for a second. This is also a good way to get uh, a nice application of grime. Maybe get a different brush, who knows? You know, whatever whatever your personal preference is, you just want to make sure to get all this paint off. Grind off a little bit. We don't want all the paint running away. take our finger and go along with it. We just want to spread it all out. Come on, excess paint. We just don't want that excess paint on there or else you're doomed. You want your paint to be nice or your brush to be nice and clean. I kind of like clean it on my hand as well. That way, once your fingers are dirty, you can't do it with your fingers that much. So, nice clean hand also works. And it's acrylic paint. It comes off. It's not going to hurt you. And you can see those panel lines a lot better now. Any extra left line. See, I might have done a little too much. Just um, play around with it here. You can see those panel lines a lot better, can't you? See if I turn it more this way towards you guys. Lift it up a little bit. You can see those panel lines a lot better. I think. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. We'll move you a little closer here. So you can see those panel lines. They're uh, up, up close and personal. They're a lot more accented. So let's turn the model around. I'll show, what it, show you what it looks like. Put that here. You know what? Set that down there. Whoa. Got my thing has a rip in it. So it's going to be a little tricky to turn. You can see panel lines aren't as accented on this side. There's, there's, you can tell a little bit, but it's not, you know, they're not accented. They're not there. They're not popping with color. That's, that's, this is a good way to do, to do stuff like this is so simple. And I mean, it's just a couple, couple coats of paint brushed on and brushed off. And you get nice panel accent lines. And you're going to get a nice locomotive that has nice grime look and a nice grimy look and some nice accented panel coats, uh, panel, panel lines. So there's other ways of doing this, but this is the way that I like. Try not to try to work in small areas like I have. Um, and you're going to get, you're going to get this done in no time at all. I do recommend trying to take the shell off. But I haven't done this because I don't want to actually risk taking, I don't want to actually take the shell apart. I'm lazy and don't want to actually take anything apart. Um, but several different ways to do this and this is just one of the few. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.